we are going to go to our next round of losers bracket match. This is going to be our loser from the winners bracket, Nalveed versus our winner from the losers bracket, Jub Jub. See the characters they pick up. Uh, Naveed does main Dragon off, but it has a very scary Steve and a few others in his pocket as well. That's right. We haven't seen his Steve much this tournament. I believe uh, what I've heard from Brisbane Jub Jub pretty much just sticks with audio and a few others. Fair enough, because when you've only got one arcade machine, like a lot of places in Sydney do have, That's right. there's simply not a lot of time to diverge into other characters and invest time into them. So I right. believe uh, you should no, just come over to sell these guys. I think this is also a best of... Uh, oh. Best of three from here on out? Best of five or uh, best of three? I believe all loser bracket uh, matches after this one will be best of five. Okay. So back to best of three we go. I'm not sure if these two players have actually played each other before as well. Something Jeff Jeff's been util utilizing very well is that Claudio is running two, which I believe is plus seven. Maybe no, like no, 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 it's um, no any of that, I believe. I think they changed it, so it's, it's still extremely plus. It's still extremely strong. Yeah. It's a good mix up with board board four if people do start to duck it, but uh, it is not high, it does leave you vulnerable, so you can't abuse it. But it's a very, very good way to get in. The hitbox on it is insane as well, so it can and quite it stays often... active for very long. Yeah, that's right, like uh, the amount of time that I've Tried to duck and launch, still got hidden by it. As I was standing up, I'm pretty fair. Navid, we taking the first round and he's slightly behind the second one here. Bit of space, what he asked me to observe, I can stab up. Wow, an observer we did, that was a very convincing round to fight back. So, we've got some fight you yet, Jabba the Hut. Excellent grab break there. Both right players not getting too much, and not a full punish, but good enough. And again, harassing with those down too. Just want to make you block low. Definitely very good work from Chug Chug here. And go back to Nubby, taking the second round here, one away from it. Once again, guys, this is losing bracket match, so whoever loses this one will be going home. It's a shame because both of these players are putting in a lot of effort to be here. The V just throws up the down forward two. Oh, up to your range and stop Navid from coming in there. That's hoping to catch that while running two. Or at least if you get caught by while running two, you'll be in the air and they won't get the full combo from it. <laughs> yeah, if the consoles could make the Evo 27, we would all be very happy with that. They're a fantastic band if you've not heard of them. Please do check them out. Wow, while running through the while running through in the grab. Block, block broken, but then it's a counter hit. And just one tiny hit away. <laughs> nice way Exactly what you need to be careful of, and this is going to be game to over for Jabba. That game. Oh, wow. What a read. You've got to be looking out for that sort of thing, because it's basically just a perfect amount of health to lose. I wonder if a quarter is back one is something Jub Jub can utilize more in this matchup. I believe it's only minus 11. Not the easiest of things for Dragonov to yeah, punish. Yeah, it's, it's not something that's easy to punish, but it is effective against side setters. It's got a very chunky hitbox. And you might as well use it now and it still gives a combo. The nerf of Cordio coming in FR that is safe, but does not combo, I believe, any longer. Alright, Navi looking to continue. OHN journey and Jabba the Hutt looking to do the same. No character change from him, sticking with Claudio. And uh, I don't see why not. He, he definitely did alright in that last game. He got a bit outclassed and made a few bad decisions in the end. Oh, I mean, that last round could have gone either way. Yeah, that, that's right. I, I don't think that he needs to be changing characters anyway. He's uh, certainly got what it takes. Whether or not he can apply that, we'll find out. So, we have some floor breaks on this level. Yep, got a wall break to the, uh, the wall you see in the background there. Something yeah, that's right. New mechanic here in 27 for the mob combo break. And that floor does look very shaky. Running to a crack. Wow, oh, very well spaced hop kick there. Punish that down too. And it's uh, not a bad thing to do because the range on the down two is excellent. So, people are quite often try and hit it as a skip. But what do you stop people that range? Back four two. Oh, oh. very Starbucks only string, but uh, pays off for him. That's right, certainly not something you expect. 
accessible only from his Starbucks properties. Again, a hop kick. And, uh, well, Claudio's hop kick can make you feel silly if you eat it a lot. Make Claudio feel silly if you keep punishing him, but it's certainly one of the stronger ones in the game. Excellent reach. Now, for those of you who have two Tekken 7, or perhaps if you uh, are an old fan of the game and are joining us, Claudio is a newer character. If his hand's glowing blue, it's because he's landed a few different moves. And he'll get a special property where he's got access to a low launcher and a very, very, very long range whip on it. Why does Claudio sound like the Zuya? I don't know. You don't really know if Heihachi. Just don't know where he's gotten into. Very, very complicated family tree there. And uh, looking to close it out with his final round here, but once Another again, he's got quarters from the back. He breaks the wall, he's still going to have a tailspin here. <laughs> Woo! Rage I out. don't think this is going to be enough. No, it might. Find out. Scaling, scaling, scaling. What's scaling? Wow. See? Like we said, could go either way, and it did. What That's an answer exactly back. Right. And I, I think it's fantastic how many very closely matched players we have. There, there haven't been a lot of uh, one-sided finals, or even in pools. It was very, very tight. You can tell that everybody's been doing their best with their local communities for OHN and for all the other majors all around Australia. Certainly amazing to see all the communities from all different states come together. Yeah, and uh, when we have no console release, a limited arcade release and a few other issues, it just really shows that these people come out for the love of the game. And That's we've had it. more numbers at this Tekken than we have on some where the game has been out on console. More interstate is coming to visit as well, which we're always we're very appreciative of. Got to love the Tekken scene. Yeah, I mean, it is OHN. If it was 90% uh, New South Wales, it would not be quite fun. So, another big part of the people who make this for Tekken and the other games are the interstaters who do travel, put up their own expense. And it's paid off for them this tournament because we have exactly zero city players in the top eight for Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly, he's done a very good job. Yeah, yeah and, uh, give him props where it's due as well. Exactly. We have certainly fallen off. <laughs> All right. Back into it, all tied up. Nice slice of hop kick from Job. Uh, see if he goes for a floor break here. He, he does. does. I think if Navid eats any more of those hop kicks, he might be. Uh, he might get the yips because <laughs> yeah. you just you don't want to come in on Claudio because no. if he's spamming hop kick, he's going to catch you. And of course, you should space it out. You should size it. You should punish it. But sometimes you just freeze up. I'm I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Job's taking some risks with some punishable moves, but it's paying off for it. Yeah, that, that's right. No, I think that like if, well, most players here on pure. Uh, Spacing and a technical ability, he may not be as strong as Navid, so he's playing a very good tournament match here. Currently up one round, and as we mentioned before, this is back to first and to two, so this is the final game they still will be playing. It's as close as it gets. Let's see if they want to take it down to the basement. Punishes a whiff forward, 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 two with a grab there. Not a time you're expecting to break something. <laughs> 